when you're setting up the trees, the angle of ball that you're going for is uh, 45 degrees towards the enemy in advance. So you don't want it straight across the road. You don't want it right all the road opposite. It's not going to do anything. You don't want to get it to that edge you push. They bind up even more based on the stump and the trees that are behind. Um, so. Get a little bit more off of this edge. Yeah, that far? Yeah, there you go. The black powder, right? Like See that? That's where the fire was, right? See how it's burning, right? It's not blowing up, it's burning. It was tracks back, and then that's it. I mean, I'll come back up. Once the tracks are moved back, I'll come back up here tying the initiating. So, how much of a blast are they going to give you? Five minutes? Yeah. I'll put this in there. For your full tip. All right, look. So our charge is now secured to our tree, right? Don't have to worry about anything crazy in terms of like tape job. You know, we don't have to go all wild. Like it's got bark. It's not that big of a deal. It'll stay on there. You know. I want to mention that this is a very historical training event. Uh, the last time that this has been done was perhaps 20 years ago, or maybe not at all. Uh, and this is probably a, port, a first for Fort McCoy, which is why we have uh, the ladies out here joining us taking pictures. Uh, but what I really want to say is, you know, if you have uh, some AAR comments, you know, to share with Sergeant Corth, I'm sure he'll be interested in those. Uh, and then when the rest of the company comes, you know, the enthusiasm that you've had out here so far, make sure that, uh, and I don't know how, how tired they are, or, or maybe they're covered in mud by this point, I don't know, but, you know, pass on, make sure that they understand that this is, you know, one, if not the premier training event out here this weekend. Does anyone have any questions for me? No? Alright, so 
thank you again, Sergeant Corthon. You thank absolutely you, have a gift for training soldiers. I appreciate it. Thank you, Angela. All right, with that, I have to take off and check out the demo range. And uh, stay safe. And thank you, Captain Deardall. So we're gonna. Yeah, I know. So hey, let's get our pay on. Uh, or the uh, 30. Again, testing. Hey, yeah, check it out. Um, I mean, something else we have going on. And obviously, if one brick works on this dam, it's just well through this park right now. Anyway. I mean, at this point, like. Yeah, so you want this one to fall on top of the other ones. That'll create a better thing. Well, the issue is not with this tree, it's with those two right there. Because as oh, we right. drop those yep. two, there's a large chance of it falling into that tree right there. It's got the branch hanging up. What? That's a pair Yeah. I mean this one's probably gonna end up hanging up anyways because it's going to there. But That's it for the next turn, right? Well, here. This is for speed, right? Time on target. Because most of the time when we're doing any type of demo, where are we at? In enemy territory, right? Who wants to be standing out there for 20 minutes tying third hitch with extra turn on every single one of them, right? This way, you prep all your charges in the ORP. When you get up there, you lay down your line, man, you clip it in. It takes how long did that take? About well, 0.8 seconds, right? Too easy. On the other